I think with uh, some of the data that we've seen, that's what the committee is gonna be able to reveal, right? And I know that uh, a lot of individuals are worried about the just the six hearings, but they're gonna be very concise. I think they're actually gonna be exciting and when they compress that. But I believe when they do the bottom line up front, it's sort of the military saying when they do it at the front. Bluff, yeah. Yeah, the bluff, right? When they lay that out up front, I think people are gonna be absolutely surprised uh, how much was known with multiple groups. And I think that's what's gonna be exciting to see the committee. There's some very talented, very talented investigators behind the doors. I think, uh, I do think they're gonna be very successful in those six, I think in those six hearings. Right? Yeah. You look at the two, totality of the evidence, it's pretty apparent that at some points, President Trump knew what was going on, obviously, right? I mean, if you're having meetings within the White House, uh, if you're having individuals that you're paying out there, you know, doing lawsuits, you know, the 64, 65 lawsuits, if you're pushing this sort of lie, even on Twitter and social media, which is very important, which I think the committee is gonna concentrate on. If you look at what's happening in the message that's being pushed by President Trump himself on social media and other individuals, you start to see this pipeline of information that's very damaging and is pushing things like Stop the Steal. That is former Republican representative and also apparently former Republican himself, Denver Riggleman. He's talking about what's going on this week when it comes to the January 6th committee, which he was advising and being a part of for eight months. So he has a little bit of detailed inside information, which I'm not sure if they want him talking about this so much. But he is saying that these hearings have been going on and there is a good chance that things will be surprising and he's excited about it. There's talented investigators that are part of this whole thing. Lots of things that would make you think this is going somewhere. Let's go to the details of what's going on this week because these will begin on Thursday. This committee is a staying mum about who's the first witnesses that they will that they will have there, but announced that it would kick off its slate of hearings during the 8 p.m. time slot on June 9th. Again, that's in prime time, you guys. The committee will present previously unseen material documenting January 6th, receive witness testimony, preview additional hearings, and provide the American people a summary of its findings about the coordinated multi-step effort to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election and prevent the transfer of power. Is what the committee wrote in this notice. So back to Denver Riggleman, because he called about his proximity to this whole committee's hearing and their investigation to talk about whether or not he really believes this was an attempted coup by the president and his followers, watch. There's multiple groups involved. And I think that's what's exciting about the hearings is they're gonna be able to put the, the multiple groups together. Remember, there's different investigative teams that were looking at different parts of this the whole time. Right. Then they've had to merge that. And that has been, the I think, the biggest challenge for the committee is they didn't, I don't know if even I, and I've been in data before, I've never seen this much data, right? It's, it's, uh, it's absolutely incredible. And the fact is, that without the talent behind the door for the committee, I don't know if they could have parsed it. So do you think January 6th was an attempted coup? Your opinion, was this an attempted coup? Personal opinion? Yeah. Yes. It was an attempted coup. Yes. Um, and uh, you know, if you just go by the definition of coup in the dictionary, if you look at the uh, uh, groups that were involved, I just have a unique perspective uh, because we can look at, at certain things. By President Trump, just to be clear. Here. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, attempted coup, I think uh, when you look at the people around him and the fact that there's awareness or they're talking about things that are Let's, let's be honest, they're blatantly untrue, they're propaganda. Strong words, and also again, like I was saying, he's pushing this thing that is gonna be a serious revelation of all of the events that happened, Jessica. Should we be getting excited if we're looking for some kind of justice or should we just see this, what it could potentially be? Another attempt to do something, but then it falls out flat. I think we should actually be excited. My vote is that we should be optimistic, JR. I think the primetime slot is great. I think people will watch it. We still have Republicans saying, you know, this was so long ago, let's move on from this. And when it happened, they were saying, you know, let's not point fingers, let's take our time and investigate this. But it turns out their strategy the whole time was do nothing in the short term, but also do nothing in the long term really either. Uh, very helpful. But I think, you know, him, him saying, Riggleman saying, uh, at some points it was pretty apparent that Trump knew exactly what was going on. And saying that people will be surprised at how many groups were involved suggests that Trump and other elected officials were aware pretty intimately of what was going on that day. And I think now that the investigation's complete, we might actually see some people move to expel some members of Congress. Of course, that takes a two thirds majority, which I don't think they'll get, but I do think that they should actually try because people saying that this is either sedition or a conspiracy for an insurrection are completely true. And if we can actually get Trump on a criminal charge for either conspiracy for sedition or an insurrection, 
that's great, then he can't run in 2024, which is definitely what I would want. And if we could expel some of the members of Congress who are deeply involved with this, I'm thinking like Marjorie Taylor Greene and others, yeah, that's great. And I think using the findings of this investigation as evidence for building up a committee to explore expelling the members of Congress who are involved would be great. And criminally prosecuting Trump would be great. Will they do that? I don't know, but this at least makes it possible. I was just saying, you're gonna make this Monday insanely great. <laughs> like that's a lot of positive. I wasn't expecting, <laughs> wasn't expecting any of that, honestly. Maybe because I'm too seeped in my uh, uh, negativity over the entire process. But you know what? That's why we need another perspective. Because actually, I do feel a little bit more like maybe they're gonna get somewhere with it. Because again, Rickman's coming out, and there was a moment when the committee was like, "Hey, Denver, shush." shush. Shush, shush with the information. We're trying to wait until we expose this in a way that we're trying to expose it, which maybe it has some kind of political innings as far as making sure things look a certain way. And we see it for the first time in their true rollout of the info rather than getting pieces of it here and there and allowing someone to attack it before we really get the full context of what went down. I won't get to too many details, but there was this one aide, Cassidy Hutchison. Who, as you mentioned, they must have had some knowledge of it. She points out because she did work with an administration and was an aide there about what they were told, what they knew, and how these particularly higher up players were notified. And they just went along with it no matter what. And we've seen that from Navarro out on the news talking about their plans. So it seems like these things could match up. And from what we've seen publicly to what we maybe are gonna be exposed to that happened privately, maybe we're looking at something. Maybe we're looking at something. If not, you guys can come back and tell Jessica how um, wrong she was.